Good evening, Adam here with a very quick tutorial for Monday.com on how to do reoccurring tasks. Uh, it's a complaint that a lot of people have that reoccurring tasks are not directly built into the software. You have to do a sort of a workaround with an automation to get it to work. Uh, very frustrating, but you know it's sort of a key feature that a lot of people use. Uh, let's just say, for example, I have a dog who needs heartworm medicine once a month. And I want to remember to give my dog her pills. I, you know, then when I set it to done, I did it. I wanted to reset for 30 days later. So it's not directly built into the software from just like a, a real easy way to do it. So we have to set up an automation with sort of a custom little group to make it work. I'm going to show you how to do that because uh, I've seen a lot of questions on it. So we're in my little tutorials board, and I'm going to make a new board just to start from scratch. I, and it, only, it only takes one automation, so I'll, I'll show you how to do it. So. Recurring tasks. So we have our default board. I'm just going to delete this. This is our to do list. And we'll clear it all out. Start from scratch. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do, and this is where a lot of people get lost and confused is we have a status column which is your usual oops, which is your usual working on it stuck and done I uh, and you know this is where you're gonna say you're done with the task and then you want this to reset back to working on it uh, and you want to push the date by 30 days to do that you're gonna have to create a new column so this is where the magic happens you need to create a second status column and we're gonna rename this recurring question mark and yes it stays on the screen the whole time very annoying you can collapse it so it's not quite as annoying but yeah it's gonna be here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna edit this well, let's just say we want monthly we want it to recur once a month so we're gonna have one monthly reoccurring all right so now you have your board set up to allow you to set up your correct automations. Now we're going to go into automations and we're going to create a custom on automation and here's what we're going to do. We're going to say when the status changes to something. So now you see usually you just see one column. I uh, and you know that that's a lot of questions you see are like why why does this have why you always have to click status status. Well this is why because you can have multiple status columns. So we're going to choose our normal status column. We want to change this to done. So when you're done with the task, uh, and here, here's where sort of the, the tricky part comes in. You're going to modify this so that the rest of this automation only plays if it meets a specific condition. So this condition is if the reoccurring, so this, the second status bar, is monthly. So now you're saying that if the status changes to done, and if the reoccurring bar, uh, you've, you've checked the monthly box, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to set the date to today, since you always have to reset the date, and then you're going to push the date by 30 days. Or, well, actually, you can just push it by a month. One month. Oh, let's see where I am on. One month. And finally, you can change the status back to not done. So status back to working on it. So this is it. This is the whole thing. And I'm going to show you how it works. So we're going to create this automation. There it is. So let's create a new, using my example, give dog her medicine. So I'm going to Just say it needed to do it today, and it's me. So we're going to change the reoccurring to monthly. So, like I said, that's the magic. So re reoccurring monthly, and then all right. So today's the 26. I've done it. I gave her her medicine. Now you see that the date has changed to December 26th. Gone back to working on it, and you are good to go. It'll show up back up on your calendar, or in your work column with a new due date of December 26th. Uh, and that is all you need to know 
uh, to do a recurring task. Of course, there's a lot of other tricks. You can move them on different columns. You can send emails. Uh, but that is the real basic way. And of course, if you've got everything recurring set the way you want it, you can collapse it down, and it's not quite as annoying. It's just a little tiny button. No big deal. All right. If you found this helpful, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks.